Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. Uh, this is Seishu, as usual, and you know, after a couple of weeks of a break in the summer, I've come back to talk to my good friends Jeff and Aaron Younger. And this is the first time I'm meeting them face to face. But you know what? We've both sort of crossed paths online and have dug each other's work, and it's so so amazing to actually sit down and talk to you. Uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us today. Absolutely, it's good to good to like you said finally connect face to face, quote unquote. Indeed, um, you know after so many years. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I do want to mention to you that Jeff and Aaron are a, a solid team of uh, wedding photographers based in the San Diego area, and they also run several other businesses. So they are super business savvy, and I'm so excited to have them here because if there's one thing that I need to learn myself is to run a business efficiently, and they know what they're doing. Uh, and I'm sure uh, our discussion today will bring out some of the best things uh, about what they do. So, uh, Jeff and Aaron, it's great to have you again, as I said. One of the things uh, I know you do extremely, extremely well is blogging. And you're about to present uh, a webinar for Shoot.edit about blogging. And it's, it's a, as I said before when we, before we started recording, it's a, it's a topic that's so dear to my heart because I wish more photographers would just say blogging is important, but mm -hmm. they, are, they don't get it, you know? So what is it that, about blogging that drew you in? Blogging is very important, and I think that it's something that is not an easy task, and I mm -hmm. think that it becomes overwhelming very quickly for a lot of people. And I think that's why it's a struggle for a lot of photographers, but it's really important to share your work and not only share your work, but infuse some personality into it. Because we are such a personality individual um, business, mm -hmm. people need to know who you are, you know, and who the person is behind the camera and behind the beautiful photographs. So blogging is a challenge and it takes a lot of time and effort, but there's a lot of things you can do to make it easier, to make it efficient, to make it a system. Mm -hmm. And the more, um, the more things you can implement to make it a system, the easier it gets. So while it will always take time, it will mm -hmm. always take effort, it will never be you know, something that just runs on its own, um, there's a lot of things you can do to make, it, to make it easier on yourself, for sure. Absolutely. You know, one of the things that, uh, that's always struck me about blogging is that um, it's never been about just the, the images themselves because, you know, mm -hmm. there's this old saying, uh, let the images talk about, you know, what's in the, in the image. And it, it, you, can, you can rarely get any kind of traction with, with that. But when you start writing about your experiences behind those pictures, the backstory about an image, uh, what it means to the client, for instance, then it all makes sense. And other clients are going to likely jump in and say, wow, this is somebody who actually gets clients, right? I'm assuming that's that's sort of your yeah. approach as well. Yeah. Um, what what would you say to someone who is uh, reluctant? Let's put it that way. I've met a lot of people, a lot of photographers who just look at me <laughs> like I'm uh, you know I'm, I'm some strange alien. When I say you've got to write, what yeah. do you what would you tell somebody? You've got to write. Well, I think you know I think if people can kind of change their their mindset from being that blogging is a chore yeah. to that blogging is an opportunity. Um, that creates um, more of a, uh, a desire to overcome that struggle of writing. Because I really think that the reason that people don't want to blog or don't want to write is because, you know, I don't like writing, I'm not good at writing, writing takes forever. Right. But when you can kind of see, well, this is all it really is, is an opportunity for you to share what was going on in your head or what was going on in your heart when these images were being captured, then it's great. I mean, like... I don't know a photographer that doesn't love sitting down with a client and talking to them face to face about why they love the certain images that they're showing them. You know, whenever we're showing albums to clients, I can't help but tell the stories and talk about it. And I think if um, photographers can kind of like embrace that transition in the blogging world, then it kind of makes it a lot easier, you know? Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I definitely agree. Yeah. What, what, what is your typical approach to blogging? Is it, is it, you shoot something and you come back and you talk about it or is it something you've already discussed with amongst yourselves and you say well this is something that uh, a potential client in the future may want to learn about you know there's two there are two different approaches right there you know one is you, you're actually sort of telling the backstory of, a, of an image or a set of images 
uh, versus sort of setting the stage for a potential client to, to say, wow, these people are really thinking ahead for me. I'm able to relate to them now because of this and going from that. So there are two different types of blog mm -hmm. posts, right? Mm -hmm. Which which one would you would you like to write more of or why and why? I think the blogging serves dual purposes. It um, serves your clients, your existing clients, and it gives them a really great experience, but it also serves your future clients. And you really have to remember that with, with all the blogging that you do. And I think that um, you have to balance those two purposes and you learn that in your own blog and in your own writing and as you're doing it and so I think I don't think you can really have one or one or the other and mm -hmm. I really think you have to embrace both equally um, blogging is as much for your future clients as it is for your current clients you need to treat your current clients like gold and they're gonna bring you future clients mm -hmm. but um, you also need to be putting your work out there your um, best foot forward your personality and that's gonna bring you future clients as well so yep you really do have to embrace both. That's, that's, that's great advice. Thank you. Uh, what are you going to be addressing in your webinar? Can you give us a little bit of a, of a hint as to what you'd be addressing and talking? And just a little teaching, bit. Teach, just a little bit. Yeah, don't, don't, don't give us the whole thing. You know, Because yeah. I, I'm going to be listening and, and taking notes but because it is such an important topic for me um, as a blogger and as a photographer. Uh, what is it that, that I could say, take away from you guys uh, during the presentation? Sure. Well, Jeff and I come from a unique perspective. So we shoot as the Youngrens, and we've had our business, the Youngrens, for eight years. But now we also own two other businesses. And those other photography studios shoot weddings as well. Mm -hmm. And each one of them has a blog. So essentially, we have three different blogs. Wow. And each one of those blogs serves a different clientele. They serve a completely oh. different market from each other. So not only have we learned how to blog for our clients, you know, for the Youngrens, but we have learned what it means to blog for these other clients as well. Yes. So we come from a perspective of, um, you know, multiple markets, multiple blogs, how to gear different things to different people. And we've learned that there are certain things you can do that work um, across different markets and across different blogs. So we're really excited about that and what we've learned through this experience. And, and we're really excited to share with other people. Um, we're going to share a lot of tips, a lot of um, a lot of ways that we systematize, systematize our blogs. We have certain task management systems that we use, um, different things we use for our blogging calendars, um, and how we make sure that the structure is set up properly for each blog. And, um, you know, some different quick tips, like, you know, we've learned that if you have a running series for your blog, it's really, really helpful. So each one of these three different blogs has a certain series that they do. For the younger ones, it's Recipe Sunday, and I also do a series of writing. Oh. Um, and for the other two blogs, they have different series as well mm -hmm. that are geared specifically towards their markets. And those help keep people engaged, and they're completely personality driven. They have nothing to do with images, really. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's one thing we're going to be sharing about is, is tips like that, you know, that are very, you know, um, concrete and essential and, and really helpful. So that's yeah, awesome. Really want, we yeah. really want people to be able to walk away from the webinar with actually actionable things that they can do. Not, the point is not going to be just to inspire people like, gosh, I'm going to go off and write, but really like, how can we go do that? Like, what are the things that we've learned over the years to make it a good process. So it's going to, people are going to leave with pages full of notes and good stuff to leave um, and go do on their own. Excellent. Guys, I have one last question for you and it's, it's, a, it's a touchy, touchy question actually. Um, one that's been approached, that I've been approached with uh, in the past at a conference. Um, it's about outsourcing blogging. Would you ever outsource your blogging, the, the writing aspect of your blogging? Absolutely. Yeah, I am on board. And um, I, it's it's one of those. Sorry. <laughs> it's one of those. It's one of those things that you know what, if um, if you are not a good writer, but you want to share your personality, you want to share your images, and you have someone that is a good writer. People use ghostwriters all the time. They use them to help with their memoirs. They use them to help with writing books. But the heart of the the pages, the heart of the words, the heart of the text, it's still the same. Mm -hmm. So if that means that you can market your business, drive it forward, um, and you know market yourself in a way that's still authentic, 
then I'm on board with it and I don't have a problem with it. I think the authenticity part is what gets people, you know, is it still authentic to have someone right. writing for you? Right. And I think you can. I think if you have a good relationship with someone that does write for you in an authentic way, then I think it's okay. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, we, we've, we've thought about it before, to be sure. Um, we, Aaron, we're, we're so blessed because Aaron's such a talented writer, but, you know, it, it's, I think it's completely fine um, as long as the heart is still there. Indeed, indeed. Uh, and, and one last question. I know I said the last question before, but this, is, okay. my, this ask, is my... Ask away. We this is my really more. last question. <laughs> you can have up to three more questions. Oh, okay, good. Um, <laughs> there is a cost associated, and you've mentioned time as a cost. I mean, clearly, posting to three blogs every day or every week is not, no, you know, it's not, it's not an easy thing at all. And right. we've talked a little bit about how you could outsource right? Um, but there's an, a, a cost associated with outsourcing, right? Mm -hmm. So somebody who's starting out in the business, uh, you know, in the photography business, who's learning to, you know, network and learning to market themselves, they're probably looking at this and going, ah, I, I'm not a good writer. I don't have time because I'm really, I really need to be shooting and it's expensive. Then what? Well, I think, you know, what's important to remember is, you know, I, I think a lot of people that are in that those beginning stages, one of the initial things that people will, will gravitate towards is, you know, maybe spending some money on some Google AdWords or spending some money doing a bridal show or spending some money doing a magazine ad. Um, and I would challenge people to think about what the opportunity cost there is. What if they took that money and allocated it towards hiring someone that is, you know, a lit major from a local college to help them write? Like, like... I think that if you were to outsource it, the cost would be less than you would suspect, especially if you were already planning on allocating marketing dollars towards growing your business. If you're at a place where you have no marketing dollars to allocate at all, then maybe that's not going to work. But, you know, I would argue that it could be a great decision. It's, I mean, it's the same question that you would have when it comes to outsourcing anything in your business, when it comes to editing, when it comes to bookkeeping, accounting, anything like that. There's a decision there. Am I going to pay for the outsourcing to free myself up for other things? And will it be worth it? So I think it's that same question. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a question of marketing. You know, are you going to outsource part of your marketing, um, which is not as tangible as something like editing. So it can be more difficult. It can be more of a struggle to think about, but, um, it's that same question that any photographer does face. So, yep. yeah, good. Well, guys, I can't, I tell you, I can't wait to see and hear and listen and take notes from your webinar. It's going to be awesome. I can tell already <laughs> that I'm going to learn stuff, you know, about blogging that I, I don't know yet. Uh, and because you guys are such pros at it and been, have, have been doing this for such a long time now, um, thank you so much for joining me. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yeah. We'll be sure to post the link to register for the webinar and also the dates yeah. right below this video. And so I hope everyone does that right now. <laughs> Thanks again. This is really great. This cool. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.